Deepak Chopra, you're watching One World with Deepak. The program is coming to you today from NASDAQ building, the NASDAQ building in New York City. My very special guest, who's also a very good friend of mine today, is uh, Jonathan Granoff. And uh, Jonathan uh, is uh, many things to many people, holds a lot of very impressive credentials. I hear you've been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize this year, so congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Jonathan is co-chaired Nuclear Non-Proliferation Task Force of the International Law Section of the American Bar Association. And even more importantly, Jonathan is president of the Global Security Institute. Before we get to that, Jonathan, tell me a little bit about your earlier life. You uh, grew up here in this area, in the East Coast? Yeah, I, I grew up backstage. My mother was a very famous singer, Kitty Callan. She kissed me once and kissed me twice and kissed me once again. She sang the song in the Harry James band that all the soldiers came back from World War II. And then in the 50s, she had, was like the top singer in 1954, 1955. So I grew up behind uh, the veil of celebrity. And my father was a publicist. And some of his clients included uh, Frank Sinatra, Dean wow. Martin, and Jerry Lewis. Oh. So I have early memories of being at the Teaneck Armory just in New Jersey on the stage with John F. Kennedy and, uh, and, and Frank Sinatra, because my dad helped bring show business people into, into politics. John F. Kennedy, how old were you then? I was 12. It was 1960. I was 12 years old, and I remember it vividly. Uh, and it was really interesting to grow up in that environment because so many of the people that I saw around the house uh, were on television all the time. There were poker games that my dad had, and I, I, I can remember people like uh, uh, Larry Gelbart, who wrote Oh God, and MASH, and Neil Simon, Car uh, Carl Reiner, Mel Brooks, do it, carrying on at, in our living room, um, Milton Berle a lot of comics. So I grew up in a very interesting sort of heart of American culture uh, experience. But then you ended up going to law school. I went straight. How did that happen? <laughs> How did that happen? Uh, it, 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 it happened. Um, I, m I met a true saint, a man who had no differences of I and you, who loved everybody as himself, uh, from Sri Lanka. And he got together with my parents. Bawa Moyedin. Bawa. Yeah. How did you meet him? I, I met him uh, through serendipity. I heard about him. I heard about somebody who had those qualities, and I wanted to see if it was for real. So did you go to Sri Lanka? I did. I went to Sri Lanka. I lived with him there, and I lived with him here.